What's up guys and it's go time. Samsung has been doing a lot of stuff, finalizing some important things, quite a big news week I would say. The competition is gaining pace this upcoming year, seems to be even tougher for Samsung. So in the last video we talked about the steroid Galaxy S10 aka the perfect Galaxy with 5G, 6 cameras and a 6.7 inch display. And now we got even further crazy news on that. A new report published by GF Security says that one of the variants of the Galaxy S10 will have 12 gigs of RAM and storage capacity of 1 terabyte. 12 gigs of RAM is for 5G. Pretty much all the 5G phones are expected to have more than 8 gigs of RAM. And on top of that, the Linux on DeX can turn your Galaxy phone a replacement for the desktop. So the RAM and storage will be put to good use. Other than the specs craze, the 5G Galaxy S10 is expected to have a ceramic back. We've seen this used in phones before, like the Essential phone. It's more scratch resistant than a glass and it offers a premium feel. This is going to be the first time that Samsung will offer a ceramic back with a flagship phone so with the 5G Galaxy S10 this is also expected to happen. Now for the release date of the Galaxy S10 5G model it is expected to come in spring a little late than the usual three Galaxy S10 models which are scheduled to be announced in February of 2019 along with the Samsung Galaxy F or the Galaxy Flex. Yes, yeah, speaking of Galaxy F, the foldable phone, as we move closer to it, the pricing leaks goes up. This time it is expected to go as high as $2,500. As much as we want it, it may not be in everyone's budget. Again, we'll see what the final price will be when this gets unveiled at CES. Also, the design of the Samsung Galaxy S10, the screen protector showdown has started. This got leaked for the Galaxy S10 and this got leaked for the Samsung Galaxy A8s. The Galaxy A8s, you can clearly see that there's a hole on the front showing that the A8s will rock an Infinity O display. In fact, it's been confirmed that the display is actually an LCD display and it's from a company called BOE. The hole for the Galaxy A8s is coming at 6.7 millimeter. According to SamsungMobile.News, the Galaxy S10's hole will be two to three millimeters shorter than this, but still bigger than three millimeter. If it ends up looking like this, I think it's going to be fantastic and one of the sources said that the hole is most likely to be on the left. Now back to this one, a screen protector leak for the Galaxy S10. You can see there is a chin which is bigger than the forehead because chin has the necessary antennas and stuff as explained by Ice Universe. So overall it still looks pretty damn good. This will allow the Galaxy S10 to score a 93.4% screen to body ratio which is a huge leap from the Galaxy S9 design. And we cannot see a hole on this leaked screen protector which is interesting uh, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be a new infinity display because the front camera will work perfectly regardless of the screen protector so Samsung will be using pretty much all of their display technologies on their phones in 2019. The upcoming Galaxy M series phones are set to be the first Samsung phones to have a notch. With the Galaxy A series we're gonna see the Infinity O display and same goes with the high-end phones the Infinity O OLED display will be used for the Galaxy S10 models and possibly if we are lucky we might see the new infinity display with the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G steroid edition. Again no confirmation or anything on that. Mostly everyone has their money on the Infinity O display, but this 5G version is shaping up to be a monster indeed. November is the month where Samsung will finalize the design of their Galaxy S10 models and seems like they have finalized it because the new report has revealed that the displays for the Galaxy S10 families are entering in production. That means it is finalized and Samsung better be quick with the Infinity O display on their phones because Huawei is releasing its own Infinity O display this month in the month of December which is almost upon us as well as the Lenovo so the race to the Infinity O is indeed on and let's see who's going to be the first one to do it. Another thing that is finalized is the camera specs. This is a report coming from South Korea that claims that Samsung has locked down the suppliers for the circuit boards which will be used for the Galaxy S10 cameras and this decision has been made after the camera specification for the S10 were finalized. Now the main camera setup is expected to remain the same as the Galaxy S9 but there will be huge software AI changes, real-time HDR and of course super wide-angle lens 
lens is coming to the game as well. So there will certainly be huge camera gains. The report also says that Samsung will produce 2 million units of the 5G model cause 5G availability will be limited to certain regions so its release is based on that. And for the back of the Galaxy S10 as we know this before the cameras will be in horizontal orientation. The new version of Samsung Health shows that we have a horizontal camera setup on a rounded design that is similar to the Galaxy S series. So it's safe to assume that this could be the S10 look. Moving on to the US Galaxy S10 with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8150 processor has been detailed a little bit. We now know that it's going to rock 8 cores with a max clock speed of 2.8 gigahertz and it's coming with 7 nanometer process. This chip is expected to be announced in December so I will make a video about that. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has been confirmed in Russia with model number SMG970 5F and SMG975X and FD for the dual SIM. Also next year, Samsung is going all in. All the Samsung phones are expected to rock the in-display fingerprint scanners. For the Galaxy A series and the mid-rangers, Samsung will be using optical fingerprint scanners. Whereas for the S10 and the Note 10, Samsung will be using the ultrasonic scanners. Cause ultrasonic is definitely better than the optical scanners. So that is for their flagship phones. Also for the first time, we have the early benchmark leak of the Exynos 9820 model of the Galaxy S10 and it scores 325,000 in Antutu benchmark. And compared to Snapdragon 8150, this is definitely low because that goes around 360K. But it is an early benchmark as we have seen with the last year's model that the scores does improve with the final version. So my money is on that. But honestly, I am definitely impressed with the Qualcomm chip as far as the scores are concerned. The Exynos 9820 is a really capable chip that can do videos up to 8K at 30 FPS, so I honestly believe that it will go beyond these numbers once they have the final version. So that's all we have on the Samsung Galaxy S10 family. The competition is going to be stronger than ever. We have Infinity O displays coming from everywhere. This is going to be a new trend in smartphone displays like we had with the Notch. This time we'll see holes inside the display. Let's see who's going to be the first one and who's going to be the best one in this technology. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.